Canada is dramatically increasing the size of its largest overseas military mission in Latvia. Well, today, I am announcing that we are going to more than double our presence, deploying up to an additional 1,200 members of the Canadian Armed Forces to serve and defend democracy and the rule of law. Prime Minister Trudeau making the announcement in a joint meeting with the Prime Minister of Latvia ahead of the NATO Leaders Summit in Lithuania. Canada is committing $2.6 billion and up to 2,200 Canadian troops to the deployment. Trudeau says he will be pushing other NATO members to allow Ukraine to join the military alliance. It is not as uh, unanimous uh, across uh, NATO to be exactly that strong. But I know there is a deep commitment uh, to Ukraine, to Ukraine's security and to Ukraine's future uh, shared by all members of NATO. And the conversations on exactly how we're going to articulate that um, are continuing right now. Uh, but I'm very optimistic that uh, the message that we will send, uh, not just to the Ukrainian government, not just to the Ukrainian people, but also uh, to Russia uh, about uh, how strong and solidaire we all are uh, is going to be an important one. NATO has already doubled the number of battle groups in the region in response to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. CTV's Kevin Gallagher is traveling with the Prime Minister. Kevin has more for us, including those details on increasing Canada's military presence, clearly sending a strong signal to Russia. Kevin. The Prime Minister visited Canadian troops leading the NATO battle group in Latvia. As Justin Trudeau says, the 800 Canadian Armed Forces members serving here will more than double over the next three years. It's part of a promise Canada made last year to increase the size of the force in Latvia to brigade level. That's usually between 3,000 and 5,000 troops. Now, the government is committing $2.6 billion to increase its presence in Central and Eastern Europe in what's called Operation Reassurance. This will see more than 2,200 Canadian Armed Forces members deployed to what is already Canada's largest overseas mission. The majority of the personnel will be at this base in Latvia, where Canada leads a multinational force of 10 other countries. NATO's presence in the Baltic states and in many allied countries near the Russian border is ramping us up as well to deter Russian aggression. Starting tomorrow, Trudeau will attend the NATO summit in neighboring Lithuania. While the top issue is to find ways to support Ukraine, the prime minister acknowledged that there are disagreements brewing Turkey and Hungary, for example, continue to block Sweden's membership. Canada and other countries are condemning the U.S. giving cluster bombs to Ukraine as the explosives have a deadly track record with civilians. Canada is also expected to face pressure from allies to increase its defense spending to 2% of its GDP. Only 11 of 31 NATO countries are meeting that target. Back to you. Kevin, thank you. 